This week on The Wire, Watchdog tells borrowers to switch, working at home the new norm, and Tassie and Vic share number one. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So our top story for this week, Watchdog tells borrowers to switch. So banks were concerned primarily with maintaining their profit levels instead of reducing mortgage rates in line with the RBA cash rate cuts during 2019. And that comes from the Australian Consumer and Competition Commission. It urges Australians to switch lenders to achieve lower rates and better deals. The ACCC's Home Loan Price Inquiry interim report indicates that banks were trying to shore up their profitability during a period of low interest rates and that the big four banks benefited from a sustained increase in their funding costs in 2019. ACCC Chair Rod Sims says the inquiry's findings shed an important light on bank decision making and raises questions about whether banks could, at the time, have passed on a high proportion of those RBA cash rate cuts to their mortgage customers. The inquiry also found that home loan pricing practices continue to make it difficult for consumers to compare different mortgage products. Even a small reduction in interest rates could save thousands of dollars over the life of a mortgage and consumers should shop around to get the, a better interest deal, says the ACCC. And now for our next story, working at home, the new norm. So a survey conducted by market researchers McCrindle and Sint found 78% of Australians think working from home will become the new normal with significant impacts on real estate. Of the 1,015 people surveyed in March, 76% they would stay longer with their employer if they were offered more remote or flexible working options. Demographer Mark McCrindle says these experiences could influence how people choose their next home with increasing preferences for flexible spaces and a potential rethink of shrinking dwelling sizes and growing reliance on shared spaces. McCrindle said the extent to which this working arrangement has lasted and will last means that it will be deeply entrenched in the people's psyches and therefore weigh on home buying decisions. There will be a swing towards home ownership over renting and detached homes over high rise apartments, he says. This benefits those regions that have used to have the disadvantage of a long commute time. And now guys, for our final story of the week, Tassie and Vic share number one. So Victoria remains the best performing economy, but now shares top spot with Tasmania, and this is according to the latest Comsec State of the States reports. The ACT has lifted to third spot from New South Wales, but there is little separating the top four states. Victoria has held the top position in the economic rankings, either outright or shared for eight uh, quarterly surveys. Now in the December quarter, its strengths were in economic growth, which was up 27% on its 10 year average, retail spending, which was up 14%, and home prices up 11%. Tasmania took out the top rankings in population growth and dwelling starts, and the last time it was ranked number one was October 2009. Although it's not a current measure, Tasmania also leads the ranking with new vehicle registrations. The ACT has the best unemployment at 3%, which is an 11 year low. It is also in the top spot for home loans, which are up 36% on a 10 year average. Interestingly, Western Australia was the only state where construction spending did not contract in the December quarter. Well guys, they're the top stories this week. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series, and if you want to submit a question or there is a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there'll be a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and see ya.